and the truth shall set you free. Once you find out what the truth is, it's designed to set you free. Right. Meaning it's going to open up your mind and break away all those shackles and chains off your mind. Watch this. Come here. Come here real quick. I want to show you this. Look at this. Look at this real quick. You see this? You see this swell tribe sound right here? Take a look at this side right here. Where do you see yourself at on this side? How y'all doing today? Know y'all nationality, okay? You choose. Look at the very bottom. Look at that. So you're from the tribe of Judah. Guess who else from the tribe of Judah? Jesus Christ. He's from the same tribe you're from. What part of Africa are you from? Congo? Yeah. We just, but you stay right here now, in America, right? In this neighborhood? You fit the curse because you're standing together. Give me that book, Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 16. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 16. Uh -huh. Curse shall be. Curse shall thou be in the city. Oh, you stay in the city of Chicago? Read it again. Curse shall thou be in the city. Guess what? You fit the curses because you stay in this city, in this neighborhood, in the slums. Read. And curse shall thou be in the field. Your ancestors, your great, 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 great grandfather was cursed in the field. Cotton, right. tobacco, sugar cane. And if they didn't pick enough, they back end up looking like that, right there. Or they end up hung in a tree. Lynch, all right? Give me verse 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. You hear that? This is, this is prophecy. Moses prophesied that. Read. Thy sons, the sons and thy daughters, and your daughters shall be given unto another people. Look right here. Look right there. Our sons and daughters was taken from us and given to another people. They was given to the so-called Arabs, the so-called white man, the so-called Chinese, the so-called Japanese. All right? It was taken from us, given to another people. Read. And thy eyes shall look and fill with longing for them all the day long. Uh -huh. And there shall be no might in thy hand. When they took our children from us, there was nothing we could do about it. We had no economic might. Good. We had no power to fight back. All we did is look and cry out all day long. Good. Read on. Verse 33. The fruit of thy land and all thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up. Wait a minute. You say you're from the Congo, right? What resources less than the Congo? Name some. Uh-huh. What else? Uh-huh. What about diamonds? Diamonds, right? Read that again. Verse 33, the fruit of thy land, the fruit of your land, and all thy labor, and all your labors, for this diamond, the diamond of um, days, that read, shall a nation, a nation, another nation, read, which thou knowest not, that we didn't even know, read, eat up, and thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed always. The other nations came, and they took our resources, and our fruit. And they sell it back to us today. Give me that whole thing. They sell it right back to us. They sell it right back to us. That's prophecy. Yes. You make up the 12 tribes of Israel. You as a princess that has power with God. You are Israelite according to the Bible. And your son is your son. That's a, he a prophet. He's a prophet. He's a prince that has power with God. Why? Because you fit the curses. Hold that before you get there. Give me good, uh, Romans 8 and 16. Why? What made you stop right here? Because there's something in you that bear witness with this Bible. Good. There's something in you that made, re made recognition with this Bible. Good. Watch this. The book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 16. The Spirit itself uh -huh. bear witness with our spirit. The Bible itself bears witness with our spirit. Read. That we are the children of God. The Bible alone bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. You understand that? Because the Most High God gave a prophecy to Moses to tell us that if we don't hearken to the voice of the Lord our God, 
we was going to be cursed. And we was going to come into America by way of cargo slave ship. Let me show you that real quick. Give me that. I know I'm jumping all over the place. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Really? And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Where's the Congo at? Right, and where's Africa? The land that's what? Egypt, right? Yeah. But right here, read it again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Hold on. It says bring thee into Egypt again. Now, did we go back to Egypt? No. So what, what is this Egypt talking about? Egypt is synonymous for slavery. That's all it means. Egypt is bondage. All right, you ain't got to get it. Let's read on. Again, with ships. With what? With ships. How did we get here? With ships. We broke the commandments. The Lord made it where the other nations was going to capture us and bring us into slavery again, but this time with cargo slave ships. Right. You see all your ancestors on there? These are your people over here. They were brought here to the shores of America with cargo slave ships. Read. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. We, was, we never saw our homeland again. We never saw the Congo. We never saw the landmass of Africa again. Once we got back in America, that was it. Read on. And there, he, and there, and there, right here in America, in Puerto Rico, in Spain, read. He shall be sold. Shall be what? Shall be sold. Shall be sold. Unto your enemies. For by men, slave men, and by women. Slave women. Read. And no man shall buy you. Nobody was able to redeem us, free us, save us, deliver us. Malcolm X tried it. He failed. Right. Marcus Garvey tried it. He failed. Right. Sojourner Truth. He failed. Right. The Black Panthers. Bring it up. They failed. Martin Luther King. He failed. The only person that's going to be able to bring us out of the hands of our oppressor is Jesus the Christ. That's right. The Black Messiah. All right? Give me verse 51. Verse 51. Uh -huh. And he shall eat the fruit of thy cattle. And who? And he and shall. He. The other nations shall eat the fruit of our cattle, our, our land. We don't own no farms today. We used to. We used to own our own cattle. We used to milk our own goats. At one point, own our own grocery stores, our own farms. But what happened? We broke the commandments. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.